how to fix the issue where your keyboard is not working on your HP laptop. So whether your keyboard is not typing or it's just not responding in general, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to go and fix this. Now you need to go through each of these solutions to find the one that works for you. So the first thing we're going to do is right click on your start menu and then you need to click on device manager. Click on the drop down arrow next to keyboards and from here you should see this keyboard in the list. Now it's most likely going to have PS slash 2 in the name of the keyboard. Now what we need to do is right click on this, click on update drive and press browse my computer for drivers. You can then press let me pick from a list of available drivers. Click on this option here and press next. Now once you've done this you can check to see if that solves the issue. If it's not working then right click on your keyboard, click on uninstall device and then press uninstall. You'll then need to restart your HP laptop. Once your laptop's restarted you can check if that solved the issue. If it's still not working then open up the start menu, click on settings and in the left hand side click on windows update. You can then press the check for updates button and if there's any pending updates available you'll need to go and install these now. You can then click on advanced options and click on optional updates. Now from this window you'll need to go and install any outdated software. So click on the drop down arrow next to all of these options, make sure everything's selected like this and then you can press download and install. Now if you have tried all of the solutions so far and it's still not working you may need to go and soft reset the laptop. Now to do this we first need to make sure our computer is completely shut down. Once it's shut down you can then go and disconnect any devices that are currently connected to your PC. So this could be the charging cable and also any USB connections. Once everything's disconnected we can then hold down the power button for around about 60 seconds. So even when the screen's black just continue to hold this power button down. After 60 seconds have passed you can then go and release this button. You can then try turning on your laptop and that should have now fixed any keyboard issues let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful